What's going on guys? How are you? I uh, hope you guys are good, that you guys are staying safe out there. Um, you know, uh, just keep safe out there, have some discipline, uh, stay healthy, no COVID, no, no, um, no troubles, no issues, all right? Uh, just wanted to comment, wanted to talk about, you know, this upcoming weekend, the UFC event. Um, the trilogy between the heavyweights, um, DC, Daniel Cormier versus uh, Stipe Miocic. It is a trilogy. These two guys have fought already twice. Um, right now, modern times, I think uh, we're talking about two of the best heavyweights in mod uh, modern uh, history, you know. There's a lot of other good heavyweights. Um, there's also uh, Ryan Bader at Bellator, uh, but you know his competition is just not the same as the as the one that Stipe has has faced or DC for that matter. Um, it's crazy because uh, this trilogy, man, uh, is so interesting and 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 it's crazy because. DC just plans to retire after this one, you know, and a lot of fighters say that and I'm wondering, is it going to, is it true? Do you think that he, that he really, um, retires as the champion? I really hope so. I hope he doesn't get drawn into, um, heavyweight fight, you know, shot with, uh, John Jones. Because the money is going to be there. They're going to offer him the money. The temptation is going to be there. But I think DC has done enough, man. I think that he doesn't need to prove anything else. Um, the fact remains that when he faced John Jones, I think both times that John Jones beat him. Uh, afterwards, John Jones was busted for PEDs. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's the case. And if I'm wrong, let me know. Let me know, please. Um, but I think he was. So you could make the argument that that Jones needed help, needed PED uh, help to beat him. Maybe that's not the case. Uh, you know, uh, I'm a fan of Jones and. What he's done in the light heavyweight division is just amazing. But he's the only guy that has beaten uh, DC at light heavyweight. And the fact remains that, you know, he was busted for PED. So that always puts a question mark on your performances, on, on your domination. Because a true champion should have no, should, shouldn't be busted for PEDs. He shouldn't. He shouldn't have that question mark there, that asterisk of, you know, was it, you know, you needed help. You were being enhanced, you know, you weren't being your natural self. Like other fighters, like DC, that they were tested and they did it naturally, you know. They lost naturally, they won naturally. No enhancement. But let me not get off track. That's, that's basically another, uh, that's another subject that's another thing let me focus on on, on the main event which is uh Stipe Miocic and, and and DC the first fight uh DC knocked out uh Miocic in very dominant fashion it was a quick fight I believe it was in the first round if I recall correctly he knocked out Miocic and Miocic made the argument that he was, he was just caught, you know, um, and that uh, he had been hit harder before, and you know that he knew, he knew that he had DC's number, and a lot of things happened, but you know, uh, the rematch came to be, and they fought each other a second time, and. To be honest, DC was very dominant in that fight. He was dominating. He was out wrestling. They were hitting each other with bombs. It was a back and forth, a lot of boxing. But 
DC was getting the better of it, I believe. I saw, I recently saw that second fight, and DC was doing well. And Stipe comes in the third round. At the end of the third round, he starts hitting DC with this body shots where you could see that DC could see him um, that Stipe himself saw that he they were having very good effect so come the fourth round he starts landing that body shot over and over and over the commentators Rogan points it out and you could see DC has no way of of uh, preventing that body shot and he's taking the win out of him and it's affecting him it looks painful and just it was a formidable amazing out of the movies adjustment that Stipe made and eventually he went and he knocked out uh, DC in the fourth round it was an amazing fight it was actually a, a longer more action pack fight than the than the first match but anyways at, at this point both these fighters have a, a very dominant win over each other you could you know you could argue that even though Stipe was in trouble in the second match he made an adjustment and he, he won in dominant no questions asked fashion I mean it was it was an amazing fight here we are is the trilogy um, DC says that is his uh, retirement fight. Hopefully that's the case, like I mentioned. Uh, Stipe looks very confident. DC looks very confident. I saw the press conference. Very respectful. These two guys, they don't need to talk shit. They don't need to insult each other's mothers. They're, you know, they mean business and they let their fists do the talking once they're in that ring. And... I believe it's going to be an amazing fight. I have friends that think that uh, Steep is going to end it earlier. I have other uh, friends that, you know, believe um, that DC is going to wrestle a lot, that he's going to go back to his wrestling roots. So a lot of questions are there, and a lot of questions will be answered when we see that main event. Uh, I think the card's pretty weak, actually, if it weren't because of that main event. Um, but maybe, maybe, uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to, you know, they're going to chat me up because usually unknown, not well-known fighters fight their ass off in the ring. And that's what matters. That's what matters is to, to see fighters, you know, fighting to the best of their abilities, no matter the name. It's not entertainment. It's not, we just want to, I like to see fight fighters do their best and see action pack fight fights hopefully uh, unfortunately there's this thing with you know referees always fucking up in UFC event after event either too early stoppage or late stoppages or there's a lot of controversies nowadays it's like everybody at home is ready to uh, pounce on 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 the referee or the judges or and yeah, there's a lot of things that get controversial, but you know, MMA is like that. That's the nature of it. Things happen, low blows happen, eye pokes happen, uh, grabbing fences happen, emotions are there, you know. It's chaos. To me, fighting has always been a sport where uh, once you're there, no matter what plan you have, no matter what strategy you you're thinking of and you want to implement there's an element of chaos that nobody can control you know not the ref not the coaches not even the fighters themselves it's like they have to adjust in those seconds and make the most of it and get that win so who do i call in this fight um man it's hard very hard very hard uh, call to make because these two fighters, they're so accomplished. They're so skilled on the feet, on the ground. Stipe is also a, a, an excellent wrestler. And he actually managed to take DC down in their last fight. Um, 
DC um, is the more uh, accomplished fighter as far as accolades. He's a former uh, light heavyweight champion where he faced the best or the best in that division for their time. And here he is uh, also, you know, top of the food chain in, in the in the heavyweight division. He's a former strike force Grand Prix heavyweight champ. The guy has done it all. What a career, man. Uh, he's one of my favorite fighters. I love seeing him fight. It's going to be crazy to see him retire. But I'm going to make a call and say that DC is going to take the win. I think DC is going to pull it off. I think he's going to wrestle more. And I think he's going to be smarter. Um, that said, Stipe is also going to make adjustments. But I, I think DC is going to edge it out. And I think he's going to win. Uh, made the best man win. But that's my call. That's what I'm sticking with. Uh, I could be wrong, of course, as always. Um, so let me, go, let me know what you guys think of this upcoming main event of this trilogy fight. What are your, you know, your thoughts on it? What do you think will happen? Um, give me likes, dislikes. Uh, please join my channel so I can keep talking MMA. And uh, this is an awesome sport, man. Uh, guys, stay safe out there. Thanks for listening to me. Peace.